James. Mason Taggett. I'm seeing Joe and I'm And we're here to remind you today of one of your favorite activities. song and if we can catch up on your reading, they can also be a serious hazard to such as emergency vehicles who need to get to people that are in trouble so that might be having heart attacks or choking on their vegetables. Now there are some current remedies in terms of trying to remedy this, such as here at Google Maps, which uses volunteer cell phone data to, that, to try and map out areas, which you can probably guess is that green means free flowing traffic, yellow is semi, semi congested, and red is deadlocked. But the problem with this is that because of it being on volunteer information, this, these maps are not completely are not completely accurate and will be often outdated. Because after all, do you drive on every road in your city or town? I don't do it in my neighborhood. We would like to introduce our inexpensive, easy to install traffic monitoring solution. We hope that uh, by offering an inexpensive alternative, real time traffic monitoring will be possible on all roadways. Information from our system will be beneficial to such agencies as the Department of Transportation and also to the public through services such as GPS and Google Maps. This information could also be tied into existing traffic signals, allowing for smart roads, which would better regulate the flow of traffic. Now, our system is, is fully wireless, and it consists of two sensors in each lane of uh, traffic, and as a car drives over these sensors, a message is uh, transmitted. And that message is received by a device located on the side of the road, which we will refer to as the gateway. When that message is received, the uh, vehicle size and speed are calculated. And that information is then transmitted back to a central database. Marketing goals. Well, these are the initial goals that we set out when we first started the project to try and meet. These in goals include being low cost and easy to install and low power consumption. But we want to try and make this affordable and appealing to our current customer, which is the government. Now going on over here, we have engineering goals. And these are also a wide range of ones too. Because I mean, after all, road temperatures, roads for example, can vary in temperatures. So we want to be able to have our product say, be able to take the frosty nights of the loop which could go as well as 50 degrees on their road, to the scorching heat repeats of the Miami Road, which might go up to 150 degrees. Now over here we have alternate approach, we have the alternate approaches, which is basically just different technologies that we, we, we gathered up, we did research on to see which ones could be our objectives. For instance, we've had we looked at cameras, which probably would have given us more nights to sleep in. But the problem with that is, well, as you can see, reading there's ability, it has, it's easy to, it's bulky, and requires a local power source, plus it's very expensive. Now here, we have our market and competition comparison, which we use to compare the two main systems used by the Alabama Department of Transportation. Now, you can see the various options they offer or don't offer, and to the very far right, their final pricing. But if you notice here on the bottom, our product, does all of their options and what we got at cheaper price, the price range. And in the pictures here, on the left at most is a inductive system that's been implemented. It's just kind of a basic diagram. The, mid the middle one here is a typical camera system monitoring the highway traffic. And the right here is our system in education. Next is the project projects that we did research on that are already in, in the works. Now a lot of these projects that, project that we noticed was that they weren't exactly trying to put, a, put out a product on the market, but rather they were just doing re basic research, such as one did take magnetic sensing technology, but decided to just see what kind of file, for example, what kind of algorithms were used for placement. 
Next we have related patents. We really couldn't find one that covered exactly everything we did, but rather just general, general terms, such as using the magnetic filter to check pet the vehicle for, for, un for unspecified reason, or just the idea of de detecting cars. Next we'd like to talk about our system design, including the system architecture and also the custom hardware that we develop for our needs. As I mentioned earlier, our system consists of two sensors, and each of these sensors are actually made up of several components. Uh, each sensor contains a microprocessor board, a magnetic sensor, and a low-power Nordic radio. And as mentioned earlier, when a car drives over these sensors, a message is sent out as the DeLorean there passes over our sensors. Those messages are received by the gateway, which is located uh, off to the side of the road. The gateway is very similar. It consists of the same microprocessor board, the same low-power Nordic radio, but it contains a high-power Zigbee radio, which has a range of about 1.5 miles. When these messages are received, the, the uh, size and speed are calculated, and that information is sent back to our central server which consists of a, a ZigBee transceiver, a Windows or Linux uh, uh, server running MySQL database, and that information is put into the database. Then from here, a user uh, can connect to our database using this, the custom software that we have developed for displaying statistical information. We'll get into that a little bit later. Now we'd like to address you uh, our huge part of a pro project. Uh, we constantly made uh, this microprocessor board and magnetic sensor and DB career board. And this small tiny flat square is the MSP430. This is the brain of our microprocessor board. On the bottom, in the red square, is a Nordic radio. Nordic Radio handles the transmitting data, also receiving data. Then the, on the top is the external connector. The magnetic, magnetic sensor and Zigbee radio will go to this connect, connector. This is the magnetic sensor. As I mentioned, we, we designed this board. And you will see the blue wires. Don't worry about it. <laughs> we had a problem, but we fixed it. <laughs> and uh, the white, on the white, oh, this is the magnetic sensor. It reads a diff, it reads a difference of other the magnetic field. On the white, this is the whole system of magnet of our magnetic sensor. On the bottom, this yellow and Silver thing is a lithium ion battery. This is our sensor enclosure. We are using this enclosure for just temporary. We will have we have the better solution for the future design. In the sensor gateway <coughs> on the top. This is the high power ZigBee radio. On the next layer. This green square is a Zigbee career board. We also designed this board as well. And the, on the bottom, you will see, you will see the micro, microprocessor board. It calculates uh, all the vehicle detection, vehicle size, and speed. Uh, this is server interface. This server interface can Connect, can be connected to using the RS-232 or USB cable to your computer. You can place it on the, inside the building, inside your car, anywhere you want. 